come into our shop, the first thing they say is, ah, oh, it smells so good here. It's home, it's love, it's warmth, it's grandma. And that's what it is for our minions. Our business is totally word of mouth. We do not advertise. We just about keep up with our orders at this point. Good to see you. Okay, so your order is ready. Okay. You want me to heat the number three? N number three, want... you know, and then one of them has one to be warmed up because I'm okay. going to eat on the car. That's my in lunch. In the car. Oh, you want just, you want just the... Uh, one, one doesn't. No, no, one doesn't. You want one that you're going to eat one By the time okay. I get it, you know, I'm going to give it half of it away, you know. <laughs> All right, okay, hang on. I was born in Baghdad. So this is, you know, it's a home food, you know. My mother used to make it a lot. So I've been, we've been eating food since I was maybe 10 years old, nine years old. <laughs> and what are you gonna do with your 20 boxes? Well, the 20 boxes really, and then I give some to my daughter, two daughters, my son, my daughter's neighbor, and some of my son's employees, which they love it. You know, it's something new for them. They really enjoy it. Like they keep asking me, Pop, when are you gonna get it? When are you gonna get it? Thank, Thank you, you very much. I'll it's see you next day. time. Okay, see yeah. you. Thank you. quite sure what nationality or what ethnicity the word comes from. Even it's two parts, maybe seems Arabic, but we're not quite sure and neither are most people. But it seemed to have originated in Eastern Armenia, which is now Eastern Turkey, and kind of spread from there to the uh, rest of the uh, Middle East. of easy, but we want to make sure that each piece gets an equal amount, and we hope that we all kind of have a little feel for that, and that's why when we look over, sometimes we take some off, we add some, but you kind of get a feel after a while of how much should be there. Sometimes the scoop is more than you need, sometimes it's less than you need. So we take from the next one, and we make it evener, if you will. We have a screaming hot 600 degree oven and we're loading the Rahmajun onto the deck. It will cook in here for just under four minutes and then it'll be ready for cooling and packaging. How well baked do you guys like it? I know your dad likes it crispy. Well, we have a signature look for our Rahmajun. The little kids call it polka dots. It will have little dots on it on the bottom when it's cooked. That's because the oven is extremely hot when it goes in and it cooks right on the steel deck. So we like to make sure that each one of our lahmajuns is cooked perfectly. And my father is very quality oriented and you will see me checking them when they come out of the oven. And if they're not up to par, they will go back in the oven. <laughs> This area had lots of Armenians at one time, but then they okay. eventually moved Brumal, Newtown, Westchester, everybody kind of spread out. 
Thank you for the wonderful lakmajun. It tastes just like grandma's who came over from Armenia on a boat as an orphan child. She taught me how to make it and I appreciate all your handmade labor of love. Thanks. They are just like grandma's as expected. My son is so excited to have a new treat. He's dairy free, so misses traditional pizza. They're just, you know, they take the time to, to, to write us a note and I just feel like I owe it to them to keep it. <laughs>